Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. My name is Ace and I got another TF2 live commentary here for you. Playing as a pyro on CP Granary as I will try to convey my thoughts and motives here to you as best as I can for this thought process video. Now we are on the losing side of things so let's see if we can turn this around as we are currently capping second. Now I'm not going to go out of the front door because I'm expecting to find the entire red team there. So I'm going to stick to the sides here and hopefully try to force people back. Maybe get some nice reflect and actually be proud of them instead of just finding that they uh, are missing every single thing. Then again, they are reflect so they are not damaging me or my teammates. So I guess that's a given but it's always nice to be able to hit the enemy as well with it. Now, I'm sticking here to the flank as my entire team tries to get on the point, of course. And yes, it's probably better to get on the point, easier cap, faster cap, getting some points. But I just like to stick on the side here as a pyro because it allows me to basically protect the flank. And also a little bit more secure in the fact that the environment is a little bit more close quarter. So it gives me a slight edge over the enemy potentially instead of uh, mid as that is a little bit more open as I have problems fighting in open fields of course as a pyro. Now I am forced back due to the fact that I am fighting a pyro with the back burner which deals more damage than I do. So I have to wait until he either goes away or if we find an opening to take him out. Now his medic seems to be gone. Which means we have an opening as I am currently full health. And I'm flanking the soldier right here as he is trying to give chase to one of my team members. I am not uh, allowing him to do so. So it seems that mid is secure which means I can move up. Once again I'm sticking to the flank here. As I am able to uh, use this open space to my advantage with the flare gun. And they don't seem to be able to uh, pay too much attention to me. Do miss an important flag on shot, but I guess that just kind of happens. That is a flog, so he can't extinguish his teammates. Which means I should be able to harass quite decently with my flare gun. But I saw the medic and the heavy combo already incoming, so I'm going to stick to the left here. As the medic heavy combo is also going left. And if you're asking why I'm shooting my flare gun randomly around corners, it's basically the Luxman tactic. As I'm able to avoid the sticky detonation there once again. Which means they are expecting me to constantly go there. I'm going to stick to the right here. Let's see if I... No, that's the heavy. The heavy seems to be able to counter everything I do. But that's a cannonball. Which means I have to go back and find some ammo by the looks of it. As I'm unable to uh, use my flamethrower right now. Which is a bit of a uh, very bad situation to be in. But it is how it is right now. Just gonna have to harass with my flare gun. Actually getting a kill as well. With no ammo. But there it is. I was really looking for it. But as you can see everybody decides to go to the right. And if I'm on the left it means I can flank. And also I'm pretty safe as the entire right side is of course the battlefield. Everybody is drawn to that right side. As I'm able to go here on second. Or at least on the high ground. Get a good perspective. Possibly even go to first and... Cut off the reinforcements, which is always kind of neat. And it seems that I'm going to do that right now. If I'm able to get the kill. Yes, I am. Meet the scout and the medic here. The medic gets away from me. Don't want to give chase. It is, of course, the enemy spawn. I should have hit that flare gun. It was a little bit of an easy shot, but I made the mistake of missing. I always hate when that happens, but there you go. Once again, I'm just going to casually walk up. I'm not going to get overhealed by the looks of it, so... But I am full health. And I saw the heavy here going to the left. So I'm going to see if I can flank him. Yes, I can. Getting one, two chops on him, which allows me to kill him. Never stand still. Never try to stand in front of the minigun. Hurts like hell. As we are able to push up here to first and win the match. So that's quite decent. Very nice start. As I would say so myself. And with that, this video has come to an end. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't. And if you already have, then you know what to do. And I will catch you guys next time. Take care.